Hey guys, it's Emerald Tech World here. Welcome to the first ever video. Now, I'm sorry that this is actually showing up, and if you have epilepsy, please click skip this part. Today, we're going to be having a look at how to remove the memes Trojan. So, it's ridiculous. As you can see, it's completely crashed this computer. So, let's find out. Now, because everything just so crashed, what we have to do to start is we have to actually power off your computer, restart your computer. Okay, so we've now restarted, and quite annoyingly, you see a Nyan cat, which really isn't helpful in this kind of situation. So, to fix this, when you restart, you actually need to use, you have to have a Windows 7 boot disk. So, a C, a DVD. I'm going to go ahead and place this in my drive. Then you have to restart your computer and um, boot into the disk made for Windows 7. Okay guys, as you can see it says Windows is loading files. Okay guys, when you see this screen, you just have to click next and on the bottom left click repair your computer. Now click next, click cancel and cancel again. Now you'll see startup repair. Click on startup repair and just wait a few minutes or seconds. You'll then see this screen. All we've got to do now is actually click cancel and open up the command prompt. Now you have to go on the command prompt. Here you have to type in boot rec space forward slash fix mbr and then press enter. Now you have to type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot and press enter and now that's done all we've got to do is close command prompt and restart your PC okay guys as you can see we are now back in Windows don't worry about the cursor flickering because I'm using hardware acceleration but it is fully working now the first thing you actually probably have to do is go on start documents downloads and delete anything to do with memes completely delete and empty your recycle bin so that means you can never get the memes virus again so as you can see windows is back so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like for more tutorials and i will see you in the next video